this day is uh, pretty overwhelming uh, to see all the support. Uh, the police, politicians, our friends, and uh, we don't know how we would get through this without you people. That was Paul Henderson and his wife Flo Bellman at the official unveiling of this purple bench at Dominion Gardens Park in Georgetown on December 6th. Halton Women's Place in partnership with the town of Halton Hills and Halton Regional Police unveiled this to honor and support those who have lost their lives to domestic violence and those who continue to experience it. Women like Darian Henderson Bellman, who was killed in an act of domestic violence last summer, a death Paul and Flo still mourn today. It was their story that inspired Halton Women's Place to make Georgetown the first community to get this bench. It's the first of five benches that will be installed across Halton. Executive Director Lori Hepburn says it's a beacon of hope. Installing this bench and our goal to install purple benches across the region was inspired by the project of Barb's Benches. That originated in Nova Scotia in 2015. Barb Bailey was a woman who was killed by her husband of 25 years. She was strangled to death in her home in Spryfield, Nova Scotia in 1990. A project of awareness, remembrance, helping us to lift the stigma and create safe spaces for people to talk about domestic violence. Violence against women happens too often in Halton. That's according to Halton Regional Police Chief Steve Tanner, who says it's a devastating reality that we must all bear. The loss that we bore last year is tragically not the first that our community has endured. But it is my hope that together we continue, that we can continue to work to ensure it is our last. Our officers respond on average to 10 intimate partner violence incidents every day. A staggering and heart-wrenching statistic given that we know this type of violence also often goes unreported to the police. We must break the cycle of silence around intimate partner violence. Mayor Rick Bennett couldn't agree more as he says the stats in Halton Hills in particular are heartbreaking. There were 335 incidents of domestic abuse right here in Halton Hills this year. A statistic that is more in mirrors 2020. On average, one woman dies each year in Halton Region from an act of violence. Last summer, the young woman who was killed was from Georgetown, Darien. We have to do better. And doing better is what Paul and Flo hope for. Flo says Halton Women's Place and the police have been a huge support in their mourning and advocacy. And that support isn't just through them inviting us and being with us, it's knowing going forward they are helping somebody else. And our showing up anytime we're invited, maybe not easy, but it's a support to us because if we can touch anybody, if you can go away helping anybody and giving them the numbers for the Halton Woman's Place or the police or anybody else, then you are all helping. Everybody is helping. And as they always say, we have to do it together. And we will. For Halton News in Georgetown, I'm Melissa Candelaria.